Hi, this is Renee from I Teach Blogging, and we're going to talk about FeedBurner once again. In the last video in the series, I show you how to burn your feed. Now we're going to talk about how to activate the feed inside of FeedBurner and get the code to add it to our sidebar. Just as a refresher, what does this mean? A feed is an RSS stream that people can subscribe to. What does that mean? Well, that means that they, if they subscribe to your blog through this feed, they can get an email update when you release a new blog post. This is really handy. And for example, it keeps you top of mind with these readers. So you really want this and you really want people to sign up. So what are you gonna need? You're gonna need a Google account, a FeedBurner account, a WordPress blog, and an internet connection. If you have all those things, we are set. So here we go. So I'm at my FeedBurner right now. As you can notice it says Google FeedBurner. I'm gonna click on the Blogger Mafia because that's what I call mine. And we're going to come over here to publicize. We're not going to worry about any of these other things at this time. Email subscriptions. Just click on that on the left. Wait for that to come up. And say activate. It's truly just that simple. It's wonderful once you know where to go, right? So this is the code. So you're going to take this code. You're going to copy it. Um, I copied mine into my um, Evernote here just to have a place to save it. It's very handy. Now, once you've done all these things, you come over to your WordPress blog and you're going to see your dashboard. You should see it here. Over on the left, you're going to scroll down until you see appearance. You can click on it, highlight your mouse over appearance and then click on widgets. If it does not show up the flyout, then just click on appearance and then click on widgets. Either way, you'll get there. Now, on the widget section, you have multiple things set up depending on how your blog was built. I have what's called sidebar narrow and then sidebar and then my footer widgets. Let me show you what this means. Wrong blog. If you look on this blog here, this is my membership site, you'll see that I have my main content area, which is this stuff here in the center. And then I have my, my narrow sidebar and then my wide sidebar. So that I want to put it in my wide sidebar right up here at the top. Okay. So inside of the widgets area, you may not have quite as many widgets as me. This one, um, is a custom theme and it has a lot going on. So I'm scrolling down, as you can see, and I'm looking for just the regular everyday text box. Once you find this text box, you just left mouse click on it and then you hold it and you drag it out to the side and then you scroll back up, okay? Um, until you get to the one that you want, which is the sidebar. So I'm just gonna drop it right in there. And it put it right on top of the rest of these. So I've got that code and so I'm just gonna do Command paste, Command V, and um, with me, there we go. So just hit save and come back over to the blog. And I'm going to refresh it. There we go. Okay, so as you see over here on the side, there is my subscribe button. It's not the most beautiful one, it, 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 but it's free. And that of course is of a lot of value, especially when you're first getting started out. You can spend money and get something fancier, but free is good. People know to subscribe and most people know what that means. So that is it for now, blog on.